Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is WW Movie Maker here. And before you check out my next video, I just want to let you guys know how you can support me here on YouTube. For all of the new visitors and new new viewers, make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button on my homepage if you like my content. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell, you know, for everyone who has subscribed so that you will be able to get notifications and be aware of when I upload videos at what time so you can watch them. Because again, YouTube sort of screws up on that at times and doesn't always let you know. So make sure you hit that notification button, subscribe, and let's grow our channel here on YouTube. Also, make sure that you do the same with my brand new channel that was recently created, Movie Maker Talks. Subscribe there, hit the notification bell. Weekly uploads are what you can expect. I will attempt to weekly upload videos on that uh, YouTube channel as much as I possibly can. Um, sometimes you'll have two weeks, maybe three weeks. I will not try to overload you with content on that channel, so expect maybe a week or two. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Another way you can support me as well is on VidMe. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I recently went and created a VidMe account to upload videos as well. I will not be doing uh, weekly uh, or even you know, daily videos, uh, most likely once every two, maybe three weeks as well. Different videos than I upload on the actual WWE Movie Maker channel on YouTube and different videos on VidMe, so you can expect different things there as well. Make sure to follow my channel, all right? Make sure to stay tuned with my channel, upvote my videos, and share my videos on VidMe as well. And finally, another way you can help support WWE Movie Maker is by pledging to my Patreon. WWE Movie Maker, it's patreon.com backslash WWE Movie Maker. Please help out me because I need the help. You know, everybody needs the help. YouTube has not given us the amount of money we need. One dollar per every video I upload. Again, I will not be uploading many videos every single week. I won't even be uploading weekly. It'll be once, maybe every two, three weeks, one video per month. We'll see. But make sure, man, donate one dollar uh, and uh, we can get started right away with uh, creating a platform on Patreon. I can start uploading videos on Patreon as well. Vidme.com as well as YouTube, man. Thank you very much for what you've done so far and continue to support. Your support is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the WWE Movie Maker channel, WWE Rumor, Reports, News, and Controversy. This is the channel for everything professional wrestling. Enjoy the video. Seems like JBL is trying to do whatever he possibly can to be hated by everybody in the wrestling world and possibly everybody in the world. I mean, he's just not stopping. At this point, right now, he's talking about Roman Reigns being the future of the WWE, right? He talks about Roman Reigns being the future of the WWE. And, you know, I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm not saying he's inaccurate and he's delusional because clearly Roman Reigns is said to be the next big guy. But at this point, it would have been good for JBL to keep his mouth shut. I mean, he really, and, and you know, he's not going to do that, but he's just continuing to go on that path of where he just doesn't care, which is fine, but there's a there's a point to where you must care about your own, you know, um, image, because it affects you and your relationships with some people. Maybe, maybe right now, obviously everybody, maybe, maybe there are people that are not affected by him, but there are people that may think otherwise of him. And now he's saying that Roman Reigns is the next big thing in the WWE. So if, uh, if JBL was never, you know, never, uh, exposed for who he was maybe backstage, this wouldn't have come off as so much, you know, of, a of something that, you know, we feel like 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 we feel as JBL as being this guy who is saying this stuff um and and you know speaking his mind um but at this point 
speaking his mind is is simply going against the fans or just you know not trying to be somebody that is liked by the fans which is fine right but if those if he wasn't exposed for bullying and that stuff this story wouldn't have seemed that big but since he's been already on the bad end of a lot of things Roman Reigns is not a good guy to side with in that in this time in this in this time and period JBL seems to be on the board uh, Roman Reigns hype train the former champion turned to SmackDown Live commentator and believes that he will rule the uh, uh, WWE one day and is very impressed with the work with the former uh, NFL player who has produced inside the square circle as of late. During a recent episode of Bring It to the Table, uh, JBL commented on the Big Dog's current feud with Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. JBL stated that it's been his favorite feud that he's got to sit back and watch for a long time, which, to be honest, uh, I like that feud as well. I think I would have booked things a little differently, but it's a very it's, it's one of the greatest things happening in WWE right now. He says, listen, I think absolutely it takes two to tango. Roman Reigns definitely helped and forced Strowman to step up his game and what they created was magic. This is one of my favorite rivalries going right now in some time. He proceeded to put Reigns over as the future of the company and uh, also you know, continued to say that while people do have some hate towards him, they're hating him for all the wrong reasons. Um, Roman Reigns has a good match after good match after good match. I mean, the guy is the future of the company. And people who want to hate him, please continue to do it. We're going to hate you as well. Don't worry. It certainly is your right, but you're hating him for the wrong reasons. The guy goes out and puts out quality after quality every single night. Um, you know, it doesn't even matter if he it can wrestle that great or whatnot. You know, it's all about, you know, being somebody who plays the role correctly. He's not playing his role correctly. That's where it pisses us off. Because he's not doing it right. Right? And then you're gonna start spec you know, you're gonna start saying that, oh, we we don't we're not supposed to be saying this kind of stuff. We don't run the WWE, right? We're freaking marks. Well uh it, we're just suggesting to you that this is not how you do it. From the watching WWE a lot of guys watching WWE from twenty or thirty years, you know, they know the difference. Maybe you forgot the difference. Maybe it's you that's been out of touch, right? He's 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 a great wrestler. Okay, he can tell a good story in the ring. But if this was the indie scene, he'd be doing great. It's not the indie scene, right? He does not have the promo mic skills, right? He does not have that 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 ability to adapt to the audience. He's getting that split reaction for pretty much one reason: the guys who cheer him, the people who cheer him, like him. And mostly those are women that like his appeal and his his badass type character, which we've seen. It's not even a character. It's just who he's attempting to portray. He's, he's failing at attempting to portray that character. And then the guys who boo him, well, they hate creative. So really, it's not like it's not like Cena. It's not like John Cena where they're actually booing him for what he's saying and who he is. Roman Reigns, they're booing the creative. They're booing... Roman Reigns, but they're booing the creative through Roman Reigns. That's what they're doing. Um, he says, uh, switching, uh, he said, uh, yeah, Roman Reigns has a good match after good match. Uh, switching gears, JBL then commented on the sudden role change for Titus O'Neil, who now seems to be taking on a manager role for Apollo Crews. Corey Graves seems to be, seems to move for uh, Titus O'Neil saying, what lacks in the ring? He more than makes up for his verbal ability. Uh, JBL, on the other hand, didn't seem too hot on the idea, saying that O'Neal would tower over anyone he managed. Look, the guy like a million freaking dollars. Looks like a million freaking dollars. He does. He looks like a Hall of Fame athlete, which he is a world-class athlete, but who in the world uh, is he going to manage that he's not going to dwarf, JBL said. Titus O'Neal is too big to be a manager because he dwarfs everybody because when you look at Titus, you go, wait a minute, I don't see that guy. I don't want to see that guy. I want to see the guy who looks like a million freaking dollars in a suit. That's who I want to see. So that's JBL giving his opinion on Titus O'Neil. You know, Titus O'Neil is he he belongs in catering, man. Well, what is he gonna do? Um, you know, take it on a manager role for Apollo Cruz. And that's that's sort of um where a lot of people have this issue that oh, if the managers look bigger than the superstars, <laughs> you're you're potentially making them look weak already. You know, it doesn't look like it's uh you know, uh, 
it, it doesn't look right, you know, especially when you like referees nowadays are even more buff than the superstars. There are some referees that were that are, that are bigger than uh, the actual um, 205 Live crew. You know, the guys on 205 Live, they're, 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 the referees are jacked, right? And for the role you're portraying, it's not, it's, it's not believable. Like, it's, it's just not, you're, you're, you're trying to expose too much of the, of the, uh, you know, scriptedness or the, 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 you know, the fake part of this, you know, you got to make it seem a little bit real because you do understand that this is mainstream now. WWE is known for entertainment, but they're going worldwide and their attempt is to make, you know, fake fighting look as real as possible, right? Referees, you know, can't be looking so buff um, compared to the wrestlers, right? If you're going to be doing that, then place in referees that aren't as buff, right? But I think you got to switch that thing around. So Titus O'Neil also, you know, being this giant guy, you know, taking on Apollo Crews, uh, you know, I don't even know. I, I don't really care. to wa- Like when I see those kinds of things on television, I don't really watch them. I really just tune out. I don't really care. Um, so I'll have to try to watch Raw, you know, f- without sleeping this week. I don't know how good uh, that's going to turn out. But JBL, he gives his thought a little bit on the WWE superstars and who he thinks is going to be successful and who he doesn't. Again, man, if you didn't check out my JBL rant, check that out. Uh, should he be fired? I state my opinion in that video. On YouTube, it's on YouTube. Uh, I also uploaded it on vid.me. Uh I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't have any really videos to upload much yesterday, so I decided I'll just upload this. I'll get some views here and there. I'll see you in the next video, man. Uh, yeah, man. Peace out.